Namaste everyone. Come on, I need some feedback. Namaste everyone. That's better. So I'm a musician and ever since I remember I've always been a musician. Now my ears have always been more important than my eyes. While most of my classmates in school were fascinated by television, by video games, I was very, very fascinated by my music system and I was completely hooked on to it. I would listen to songs all the time, I would decipher the music, try to figure out who the musicians are, learn about different cultures, different people through the music. And it was through music that I absolutely fell in love with our natural world. I also realized that I loved hanging around with animals more than I loved with humans. I would stare into the eyes of reptiles, of insects, of seemingly dangerous animals, and I would see personality in them. After 16 years of professional music, composing over 3,000 commercial jingles, after composing more than 14 albums, I won the Holy Grail of Music Awards, that is the Grammy Award. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so that was a huge validation for my life choices in music. Now, after I won the award, our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji, he invited my wife and me for a private meeting and that hour-long philosophical discussion encouraged me to take on conservation and creating awareness for climate change as my life's mission and I decided to dedicate my art and my life to just creating environmental consciousness and that's all that I do right now. So I found my purpose and I found my calling. Thank you. So this led to the making of my epic musical album, Shanti Samsara, for which I collaborated with over 500 musicians from over 40 countries. And this album had a meaningful launch at the United Nations Climate Change Conference, that is the COP21 which happened in Paris. For those of you who do not know what that conference was, it's the one which Trump pulled out of recently and, you know, and he made famous all over the world. Now while watching the COP21 summit, one world leader who absolutely caught my attention was President Anote Tong of the island nation of Kiribati. Now his only appeal to the 190 nations present over there was to pass a resolution or pass an agreement that ensures that his people of Kiribati stay above the water. Now that statement sort of shook me. Now Kiribati is an island nation in the South Pacific, low-lying atoll islands, 21 inhabited islands, the entire nation is going to go completely underwater due to man-made climate change and they're going to be the first country to go completely underwater. To show you in effect, we are going to have to redo our globes and our maps because the part where Kiribati exists is going to have to be colored blue. So I visited Kiribati, I spent two weeks over there, spent a lot of time with their president, fell in love with their amazing, amazing culture, their population. And I saw and experienced a country that lives within nature. Now, if all of our countries could build domes around ourselves and keep our carbon emissions within our own borders, then countries like Kiribati have nothing to worry about. But then it's one atmosphere and our carbon emissions become their carbon emissions. And since they're low-lying islands, they are the first to suffer. And in effect, they are suffering the consequences of our actions. Here is a song I created at and for Kiribati along with the president, Anote Tong. Here is New Beginnings. The science is very clear about climate change. Within the century, our entire nation will be underwater. reality is that uh, we have communities who already have to relocate. We have communities which are on the verge of doing the same thing. Climate change is not something that, that's likely to happen in the future. It is happening, we are facing it. It's a disaster that doesn't go.
Thank you. Now imagine all those Kiribati children that you saw on that screen will not have the opportunity to grow up in their own country because they are going to be refugees of a new kind. They're going to be climate refugees. Now when we speak about coexistence, for some reason, it's only between different parts of the human race. Because somewhere along our journey as humans, we have forgotten that we are just one among the millions of species. Now, true coexistence is living in absolute harmony and peace with every single entity in this world, whether living or non-living. In fact, our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, said that there is a divine in every single atom of this universe, whether that atom goes on to building something that is animate or inanimate. Now, if biodiversity is a measure of the wealth of a nation, then India is the richest nation in this world. We Indians have lived in coexistence with our wildlife for the longest period of time, for millions of years. People have long revered wildlife, and the elephant being emblematic of it. Now, but with growing human population and increasing fragmentation of the elephant habitat, there is conflict, there is human-elephant conflict, and this is inevitable. Now, sometimes the forest department has to make the painful decision of capture and relocation of these elephants. Now, it is a very excruciating experience, not just for the elephants, but also it's very traumatic for the forest department and all the humans involved. My next song musically showcases coexistence, or the lack thereof. Here is Love Divine.
Here is a quote from Baba Diom that I absolutely live by. At the end of the day, we will conserve only what we love, we will only love what we understand, and we will only understand what we are taught. Now, music is a very powerful language, not just to communicate a message to the listener, but also to retain that message deep into the consciousness of that listener. Now, through the language of music, I have made it my mission to make everyone fall in love with our natural world, and hopefully, through that love, conserve and protect. All of us Indians are patriotic. We already love our country. Let's fall in love with our country even further. I've made an instrumental version of our national anthem, and I decided to feature the unsung citizens of our country in that version. That is the wildlife and the natural world. Because the wildlife and the natural world, the wildlife and the forests have existed on this land long before any humans have set foot here. Let our patriotism work towards conserving and sustaining our beautiful country. If you would please indulge me, let us rise for the true citizens of our country. Let us rise for our national anthem. I'll just quickly introduce the band, the Revolution Choir. Muthu on percussion. Grammy nominee Ron Cobb from Canada. Sharon Raj. Grammy winner Darlene Koldenhoven from Los Angeles. Manoj George, virtuoso violin player and his amazing string quartet from Mumbai. Hai Fong, Dan Bao player from Vietnam single-stringed instrument, and of course, Grammy nominee Mehmet Ali Sanlikol from Turkey. Thank you.